Okay, so it'll just be a quick, uh, really terrible little wheelie tutorial just on kind of how to start your wheelie on the LFTR 1200. Because I've had a couple people ask, again, <laughs> I suck at them, but I've had a couple people ask, I can at least help you get it up and, uh, you know, get you to that kind of point where you can start finding your comfort zone, regulating the pitch of the bike with your rear brake until you can really kind of feel the weightlessness and then you can manipulate the throttle, which is very responsive on the FDR. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. keep that pitch where you want it in second gear and then i'll use one finger to pull the clutch in while i dump the throttle all while pushing down on the rear brake when i pop the clutch out with my finger my foot also comes off of the rear brake at the same time so when it, i release that clutch with the throttle open and my foot coming off the rear brake it just grabs and it pulls it right up so Second gear, 20, 25 mile an hour-ish. Clutch it with one finger, foot on the brake, pushing it, opening the throttle, and then cutting it back out. So let's try it. What about 25-ish, 26 maybe? Here, let's, let's do like a practice. One finger, throttle, foot on the brake. Let's give her a whirl, huh? Covering it with rear brake, and that's how you keep it from looping. It came up really fast right to where I liked it. I tapped that rear brake to kind of prevent it from looping. And that's basically how you just control it right there. <coughs> so as long as you got that rear brake covered, man, you'll be safe. You should not loop it at all. I mean, you can almost just full open throttle, dump the clutch, and still save it with the rear brake, even while having the, the throttle wide open. We'll get up to second gear, and that was a one finger on the clutch. So 23-ish, 24. Here we go. Cover the brake. Throttle out so you don't drop it down. It's kind of windy, dude. <laughs> One thing I know a lot of people do is as soon as they bring it up, as soon as they pop that clutch and it comes up, they let off the throttle so that instantly brings it back down so you're just kind of chirping them, which is a great way to start. Just more and more throttle every time. You can kind of get a feel for it. Also, another good thing to practice too is shifting your weight back on the bike. So I notice a lot of people too, when they pop it, they kind of lean forward because it's instinctual. So the more comfortable you can be leaning back, it just puts that weight more on the back end so you can kind of bring it up faster to the balance point easier and quicker. Okay, let's create a little more separation in case we have a boo-boo. Hey, look at that, winterization, 60 bucks. Oh, God, it's cold. <coughs> Again, it says 56, but dude, it's so windy, it feels way colder than that i need warmer gloves second gear between 20 and 30 mile an hour in with one finger on the clutch open the throttle cover the rear brake tap it down while you pull the clutch in basically this kind of motion up, up. if you can see that and then you open the throttle up so let's see Pop, cover the brake throttle out so you don't slam it down I think this also goes without saying too, most of us know, but if you are newer to riding, once it gets colder, a little colder than this, I mean, it's still pretty cold because the wind, but once it gets colder, you kind of got to be careful. You don't want to get out and start romping it. The road isn't warmed up enough, neither are your tires. So you got to be real careful with it. Let's kick it down in a second where we're nice and comfortable, slower, and then we'll do all three things. Here we go, here we go. different I like to use one finger on the clutch because 
because that gives me more control on the handlebars. Some people like to use two, but then you only got two. I, I'm more comfortable using three and slipping it with the one. Just another note to make, I guess. Find what you're comfortable with. I'm a, I'm a one finger guy. <laughs> Bye. Oh yeah, into the sunset he goes. Okay, before my hands totally freeze up, we'll try it another one or two more times with this field of view. One finger in with the clutch, simultaneously preloading the brake like this. Pop the clutch and the brake at the same time, covering the brake. Still got three hands, or three fingers, three hands, three hands covering the, the handlebars, all while giving it a little more throttle. And as long as, it doesn't matter how much throttle you're giving it, per se, as long as you got that rear brake covered. So it's, it's like this. I don't know if you can see the rear brake. You go, bop, bop, keeping it covered, regulating, regulating, regulating. Let's do this. It goes slowly, it goes depress rear brake, bop, bop, more throttle, more throttle, more throttle, whoa, 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 more throttle. And then always throttle out on your way down just to help your forks out. So uh, let's try it. get out there and just rip it obviously the more you practice the better you'll get but there's no rush to try to be rocking 12 o'clocks right out of the gate be slow and safe with it again i recommend legally no one ever do any of this just play with it like when you were a preteen i mean that was a terrible tutorial but that was i guess i would say ftr specific anything 600 or above i would always start out in second gear just because if you make a boo-boo or just whiskey throttle it it's a lot more forgiving with that torque i hope this helps just a little bit second gear anywhere between 20 to 30 mile an hour clutching with one finger opening the throttle covering the rear brake clutch in rear brake down open throttle pop clutch let off rear brake keeping that rear brake covered <laughs> And uh, yeah, just keep on that throttle. Again, if you're gonna try it, do it in a safe manner, not in traffic, preferably a closed course with professionals around. Always be safe and always cover that rear brake. That is your savior right down there. Always cover that rear brake. 